Yeah, one of the one of the biggest things I find that burns parents out fast is uh, thinking that they're going to replicate public school at home. Uh, you know, they they come home and, and we were public school trained. I was as guilty as anybody else. I came home and, you know, we did math at eight and English at nine and science at 10. And, you know, we planned that whole day and no day ever came out like that. I mean, that was a penalty <laughs> for it to come out. But because it, I realized at home, we didn't have to do anything like that. We could have, you know, we could do science one day and a little bit of math every morning and maybe we would do history. And then we did a lot of unit studies at our house. And so we just had a lot more. When we began to really be homeschoolers, it, there wasn't a lot of stress and burnout. It's when we were trying to make fit into that public school model of what it's supposed to look like. We, you know, we thought it was. Right. Yeah, yeah. So Amanda, did you ever experience any burnout because of yes. scheduling and things like that? Yes, like Margie said, either trying to mimic the school or um, with my youngest, there were some learning struggles. So, so um, comparing myself and my student to typical learners and um, comparing my worst days to um, someone else's what they said was their best day. So um, yeah. that was a big that was a big part of it. Yeah, to try not to compare and to find other um, like minded moms and um, get that support. trying to fit someone else's mold and what homeschooling should look like because there are some people who do try to do the homeschool replicated model they're not the, the public right. school replicated model and they somehow have children that that seems to work well with i don't know how mm -hmm. that happens because it it would have bombed in my house <laughs> Well, I've kind of found over time that every curriculum, no curriculum works for everybody, but every curriculum works for somebody. Yeah. So that's the reason we've got to figure out you've got kids that just thrive, you know, reading and taking tests. But then I remind parents that isn't really where you get the most long term retention of information. You've got to touch it, feel it. And so helping them to find that balance in amongst all of that is really important and not to get because if. And I think setting those standards, you know, parents, like I think Amanda touched with, comparing yourself to somebody else. I had six and none of mine were the same. That's what <laughs> really got me out of the box. I kept saying, oh, Lord, what's coming next? You know, because exactly. they just, none of them, I could, they, could they, any of them might be similar. I actually have a whole workshop I do on how children learn best. And it's based on the six very different learning styles of my children. And people will call and I'll say, that's a child number five. I got that. Okay. You know, because <laughs> um, it's just really, you know, it's, we, and I love it that we don't have to spit into that mold, but, but comparing your children to other people can really cause you to burn out and feel like I'm not doing enough and I got to work harder and I got to, you know, and yeah. if you just relax, they learn a lot more if you then you can right. talk.